everybody, welcome back. This is part two of the accordion style journal. And what we're going to do in this uh, portion is, is we're going to get our signatures to put in. I'll, I'll get those sewn in and then I would like to get the pocket made on this and we'll just see it after that how much time we've got to maybe um, start working on some of these um, you know other areas within the journal because as I said I kind of want to keep the journal itself plain because I've cut these out and you can see it's bulking up nicely so I wouldn't want to put too much in there so what have I done here I have now your measurements are going to be different than mine. I did not have this journal in a TN size, so I would say if you want to make this easier on yourself, a TN size journal kit would work best. I don't have that because I don't generally make uh, traveler's notebook sizes anymore. Um, so I just had to adapt this, and you will see throughout, unfortunately, by doing that, you do, you know, sometimes in the words, you will cut those off. But I've ended up, um, mine, I cut at four inches by eight to fit in this, and that fits nicely um, without hanging over. So what have I done? I've added one, two, three, four, five, six pages. Um, and that's going to give you 24 times 3. You're going to end up with almost 75 pages um, to write on. And that's quite a big journal, really. Um, so it's surprising. Such a small project is going to end up with probably more writing space than you would have in just, just a standard journal. Um, so... Uh, as I said, I've cut these out. I think now what we'll do is go through and stencil. This is one that page that we did um, last week. We created that, so that's in this first one. Um, so I think what we'll do now is I'm just going to do a bit of stenciling on this. And... Um, And then we, I will get this sewn in. So I will carry on stenciling throughout the pages. And then I will come back and let you see what I've done. Because what I'm going to do with this, guys, um, is I am going to do a five-hole pamphlet stitch to hold this in so it's nice and secure. Um, I've got videos in the past where I've done that. I'm not going to do that again on uh, camera today because it does make it more difficult for me to stitch that in. But you can go back in previous videos where I have actually uh, showed you the process of that. Or if you're confused about that, do check uh, YouTube. There's a couple of ladies who do really good angles on the three hole pamphlet stitch and the five hole. Um, you can bind this any way that you choose to do. I mean, you could just string this in if you thought that, you know, if you spent a lot of time on the cover and think, well, I, it'd be nice if I could just, once I've used these, re-add to it. You could even put um, elastic band and turn it into a, a traveler's notebook. Um, but that's what I'm going to be doing out. So at this point, I will just carry on getting some stenciling throughout all of the signatures, which is a total of three. And then I'm going to stitch that in and come back. And at that point, you guys will pick back up with me and we'll go on and build um, a pocket for the back and see what we've got time for. Okay, guys, just a really quick little flip through. I can show you now some of the stenciling. It's just really subtle because you don't, you know, I don't want to do it so dark that a person can write over it. It's just 
something subtle in the background. So that's been done. Um, I now can sew those signatures in, but I thought, well, I'll just go ahead. We'll work on this back, and then I can sew the signatures in, and in the next uh, installment, you guys can see uh, once those have been stitched in uh, where we're at. So let's carry on with this back. So I've got uh, a lot of, excuse me, guys. Oh, oh, excuse me, I knew I was going to sneeze. I've got a lot of these little strips left over from trimming off my paper because as I said it was not a TN size kit and I always you know I like to try to make use of these so sometimes I just keep them and and do some collaging so these again were left over from from trimming down and I thought it would be cute to uh, do some collaging and then run that through the machine to stitch it but I think I'm inclined to do two pockets here on the back. That way we can have some nice journal cards and things that can be used throughout the journal um, and any other little things we want to tuck in there. So that's what we're going to do is just collage these a little bit um, with some scraps. Let me see if I've got anything else. I've got such a mess. I still have not gotten around to <laughs> sorting out my um, craft space for this year. I, I will get around to it, but this needs dealing with for sure. This is my little scrap paper, and you can see it's about time I do some um, sorting out on this. I've been doing so many things in the shabby chic lately that um, this pretty much is full of the shabby chic, so that's not helping me too much there. But I think this will be enough just to get us going here. Um, I started watching at the the words that I'm putting on. Um, sometimes you get in a hurry and then afterwards you think like that. Darkness is now dawning nigh. Drawing nigh. Mm, no, I don't think I really want that on there. <laughs> I want to have something that's upbeat. So I am trying to pay a little bit more attention to, to what I am putting on. I don't know if anybody actually really reads the words that when you're doing the collaging or not, but it's just something that I tend to pay attention to the little details and so I'm just going in the assumption that somebody else might do the same. And some of this might not even show up because the way I'm going to be layering it, but I'm still going to get it down there, and it'll make the, um, the pockets a little bit uh, firmer as well. I considered doing a fab, you know, like a lace pocket, and I just decided that I will get the... Um, some fabric and laces in either through journal cards or you know some clusters within the the journal maybe because I don't want to I don't want this to end up too bulky. So again these are just little bits that I've left, you know, ended up with, so let's see if we can make 
make use of these. One second, guys. Okay, working on uh, uploading some videos and trying to multitask. It's not good when I do that, but I do tend to make up a, a lot of mistakes when I try to do too many things at one time, but we'll see how it goes today. Alright guys, I am going to take this over to the machine now and just do some stitching on the three sides. to the machine, get back, and we'll get these pockets on. Okay guys, welcome back. I got slightly distracted. My adventure van man had a new video, so I had to watch that, and I was like, oh, i got to get back to this uh, finishing up part two. <laughs> uh, but I did multitask and go ahead and get the signature sign in. So now, it is starting to look like a journal. And i got to tell you guys, I think this might be my second favorite style now. Um, interesting, because I've put this off for so long. I love my um, mini altered envelope journals, but I think this is going to be a new favorite. So be watching, guys, because I think I'm going to be creating quite a few of these so that I can use up the stash of window envelopes, but isn't that just the coolest thing? And I love the way that um, folds out. Okay, here's our pockets ready for the back. So <clears throat> I'm going to put those down like that. Let me just clip this closed here. So that I can get these little pockets down.
Okay, and it's looking pretty good. So now we've got two pockets on the back of that. And um, so yeah, I'm very, very pleased with that. And now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six places that we can add um, tucks and flips. So, I mean, really, this is just, I'm so impressed with how much you end up with this. And I think for me, I just think this is a, a better style journal because you've got everything can be here and then the, the center is going to lie nice and flat for writing. I love it. I'm really pleased with how that's come out. So I hope you guys have enjoyed part two. Um, when I get back on part three, we're going to start creating some, some things to you know, um, in these spaces, and then, uh, I don't know, we'll see if we go three or four segments, because I might do some embellishments just on one on its own. It could be another three, I don't know. It'll be at least two more parts to this, so I hope that's explaining the process to you guys, and I would love to see what you, you create. Um, do send some pictures. So I hope you've enjoyed that, guys. Thanks again for joining me. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye.